Welcome everybody to my good friend, Justin. This is his in progress flip. Outside looks amazing, soon to be listed, and let me show you around. <clears throat> so this right here, converted garage, here is an actual ADU with its own entrance. So that adds a lot of value right there. So I'll take you guys inside, but the, the paint looks amazing. They're gonna do a little bit of landscaping here. The roof looks amazing. So we'll come in here. So this is this is truly what flips in progress look like. Like I know I've showed you a couple different things, my buddy David, um, but this is like, this is when you are like in the thick of it, right? So they got their um, flooring covered and protected right here with boxes of, of flooring, right? You get your flooring in the boxes and you start laying it out because people are walking all over the place. So you wanna keep your flooring covered. This looks really amazing. Um, you know, they got little notes here of like, Hey, what do we need to do? What's going on next? So like, yeah, they're in the thick of this and they're putting this thing together as fast as they possibly can. They're going to be trimming that out. These windows are vinyl, so you can leave those. That looks really crazy right there. So normally you guys, unless you're an expert, I would totally avoid doing all this stuff, right? This looks like plumbing, new electrical. They did new PEX, uh, PEX plumbing right there for the washer and dryer. There's the 220 right there. Uh, again, that white stuff is also PEX as well. Sometimes they just have the different colors. But yeah, that is a lot of work right there, but this is gonna be like the laundry area. Speaking of, um, and then they did put this, uh, this is something I didn't even know about you guys. This is, um, I thought this was tile or picking, uh, um, that, that stuff that you can um, peel and stick, but apparently this is actually uh, uh, LVP. This is luxury vinyl plank that looks like tile. So, uh, you know, hey, you can still learn new stuff. So this is where the fridge is gonna be. They're gonna get stainless steel appliances throughout here just to make it show really well. I believe this is probably quartz countertop. That's really nice. Um, I don't know if they're going to paint these uh, cabinets or not. Um, I think they look fine either way. And the very important thing you need to remember is do not, do not over improve for your neighborhood. Right here, this is where they're putting their mini split. So they got three of those. So they're gonna be hanging that here pretty soon. Um, this is the ADU that I was talking about, right? So this is the additional dwelling unit. The bummer is where we're at in Oregon, Multnomah County, they make it very difficult to permit things. So they're actually just gonna sell this property without the permitting. And if somebody else wants to permit it, they totally can. Um, it's you know just a big hassle, takes money, a lot of time. But if somebody's gonna buy this property, um, it's definitely well worth it. It adds value for sure. Um, you know, new flooring, new flooring. Here's all these remnant pieces and everything they have. They're gonna finish trimming in the door. Um, I don't know if this is new or not. This is probably old, but I mean, if it works, why not keep it? Um, hopefully they come in here and paint this. I'm not a big fan of this weird mustard yellow. Like I like this type of stuff better. Let me turn off the lights. And this is a big house, you guys. There's a downstairs and an upstairs. So I gotta show you guys all of this. So here we go into the dark. Okay, there we go, found the light. So yeah, like drywall work, you know, this is where they're doing new wiring and stuff like that. So they had to bust that out and do, do some new wiring. The stairs are fine. Um, let's see if I can find any more light in here. It is, it is cold in here. So with this, and I mean, yeah, this is crazy right here, you guys. This is why you do not do your own electrical. Do not do your own electrical by any means. Right here, um, they have um, shower. I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see. Let me see if I can turn another light bulb on here. Boop, there we go. So there's, uh, looks like you could probably put a washer dryer here, but this is the shower area. Um, I don't know what if they're gonna finish this off or not, because this is technically livable square footage. If you look at the ceiling height, that is definitely livable square footage. Um, they got, uh, toilet right here. They got a lot of plumbing and stuff. So I think what their plan is because they are in all honesty guys, and this happens, they are running over budget and they're running out of time. So I think what they're going to do is they're just going to clear all of this stuff out of here, maybe give it a paint job. So there's not this weird thing. They're going to come through here and just paint everything white. And I think they're just going to leave it, um, you know, paint all this stuff, get all this stuff out of here. But here's the second, this count them two. This is the second potential ADU right here. So they're gonna finish off these stairs here 
and there is access right here. If you go out that way, that is the front yard. So you can actually get into this house and have your very own like living room area with a fireplace. There is stairs upstairs, but they might just end up walling that off and, and closing this in. Or, or if they don't do it, you potentially could, right? The next person that buys this could officially turn this into like, you know, the very own man cave or ADU. So there is that one by the garage. And then there is also that one um, down here that I'm standing in. But yeah, I would say probably just come through here, paint this stuff. But they were working on a lot of other flips simultaneously. So what happened is this one's just been kind of sitting here while they're, you know, getting eat up, eaten up by hard money costs and things like that. So you got to be really mindful um, because like I said, you know, they, they would like to do a lot more work. You know, there's a lot more things that they could do here. I mean, look at this. This is so cool. Like, look at that. There's a light like, like already built into the wall. That's really cool. Um, so there's a lot of really cool things going on with this property, but, um, you know, there's only so much value you can extract, right? Like if they were to fully flip this property, make it into like, you know, with, with two ADUs and a house and this crazy, oh, I got to show you guys this crazy backyard. You're not going to believe it. So apparently this used to be a skateboarder's house. So yeah, look at this really amazing access right here. Um, again, all this paint looks really nice. All the windows are vinyl. Um, this backyard, I am scared for them. This is actually kind of rough. There's this huge structure here. I'm stepping on like, I mean, gosh, this, this backyard needs a lot of money in landscaping. And I, I don't, I can't even fathom what you do with this right here. So this apparently used to be an actual in-ground swimming pool right here. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's, that's a swimming pool, right? So the skateboarders, what they did, see, look, skate park is closed. It is definitely closed. But what they did is they filled it with dirt because it was either that or try to fix the swimming pool, which apparently is impossible because the skateboarders turning this into their own um, little playpen. Okay, so I'm actually going up into the air right now. There's this like weird attic space right here. Gotta show you this, this is just crazy stuff. This is a very big incline. Whew, okay, this is actually, I hope this is safe. Um, but yeah, so this is like a lot of storage here, like a lot of storage space. It's just really weird, right? Like it's, it's weird, it's, it's funky, it's really difficult to like put a value. Okay, going, going back down, this is really hard. It's really hard to put a value on this because um, it's just really weird. It's unique, you know, and people don't know what to pay for. You know, maybe somebody would pay extra 100,000 to have this, right? So what they're gonna do is fill this up a little bit more with dirt and just, just full of rocks. And what my advice, if it was in their budget, is to try to um, concrete it. If they can concrete it, that would probably be best. That that way that you know you can turn this into actual storage. But I mean, gosh, that was a big, big lesson. The camera. That's a big lesson these guys are gonna learn is messing with pools. Pools are crazy. It just it it you know it they're expensive to maintain, they're expensive to fix, they're expensive to fill in, right? Can you imagine like how many hours and days? And I, I hope they got all this dirt for free. I mean, you can get free fill, but I mean, how much time and effort it took for them to fill in this pool. And, um, you know, it just, I mean, gosh, that is, that is a lot of work. And now they have this like backyard here that just, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, they need to get rid of all this junk. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done here. And we're kind of getting to the point where they're deciding like, okay, hey, you know, what is the most bang for my buck? Obviously this, this thing is just crazy. Like, you know, you can't tear it down. I mean, this is a huge structure. Those walls over there are concrete. So, I mean, it's not even wood. You can't even knock it down. It's, 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 yeah, it's heavy. That's a big, big undertake undertaking for sure. So I'm going to show you guys the rest of the house here. I'm going to go back there and turn, turn those lights down. But, but yeah, so here's, Here's a, like a bedroom to the main house, right? They got these weird ceiling fans. Hopefully they'll replace those. But you know, you gotta have a place to stool to put all of your tools. So these are all the things that they've used, 
right? Because you don't want to have to run to Home Depot a thousand times or, or whatever your local hardware store is, right? So this is, and this is how you know these people are serious. This is literally where they're living. They're living at their flip right now because this flip is an hour away from them. So they have been doing all the work they possibly can themselves. And that's the upstairs. They've been doing all the work themselves. I mean, as much as that they possibly can, right? They got lists here for everything that they need to do. They need to still hang that. They need to put all of the face plates on, you know, of these things. So like there's still a good amount of work to do. And they luckily for them, they have a couple friends who are going to come help them. Um, and I offered my help, but they're pretty busy right now. And uh, I'm, I'm definitely not I guess, not dressed to like get dirty and start helping people. Offer my help. And um, this is something that's really crazy. So I was walking up the stairs. This right here is um, this right here is HVAC um, duct work. Uh, well, for the mini splits, so they got a, they got a mini split up there. So this is the actual lining right there, and uh, they're gonna have to put all the subfloor back. Luckily, this looks like a crazy amount of work, but it's really not. All they have to do is just put the subfloor back, screw it down, put new padding and carpet it, and then I mean this place is already painted pretty much, right? I think they're gonna put this closet back or put a pool here or something. But yeah, if you have a window, you have a closet. You have a door and you have a source of heat or cooling. This is livable square footage here. So definitely not easy work, you guys. I think purchase price was uh, 300,000, 310. Um, they probably put 100 into it already um, and they're hoping to sell it. Uh, and they're probably gonna need like another, I think he said they're gonna put at least another 20 or 30 into it. And they're gonna try to sell it for five, um, hopefully more. So we'll see, keep you guys up to date. Thanks for seeing another walkthrough.